Today we are launching NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS for short. After Falcon 9 drops it off in a high Earth orbit, it'll be on its way to go hunt for potentially habitable planets outside of our solar system. Stage one is at startup pressures. T minus 15 seconds. Falcon 9 is configured for flight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Mission left off. Ground operators proceed to section 575. Flight report to procedure 3170 for post launch flight operations. Vehicle's pitching down range. Stage 1 propulsion is nominal. As you just saw, Falcon 9 has successfully cleared the pad and is now on its ascent with the test spacecraft in its fairing. Now coming up in about 15 minutes, you're going to hear the call out that Falcon 9 will have hit max Q. That stands for maximum aerodynamic pressure. That is the point at which the rocket is seeing its highest stresses on its ascent. Miko. Stage one is under the split. And recognition. All right. And as you just saw, we had a successful stage separation and a successful ignition of that second stage engine. Stage two continues to follow anomalies. As you can see, that burn has begun, that entry burn. This burn is going to go for about another 10 seconds or so before it shuts down. And the entry burn is complete. Stage one, entry burn shut down. stage has successfully landed on a fourth I Still Love You. This marks the 24th successful landing of a Falcon 9 first stage. And as you just saw there, we have reignited the second stage. And this burn's gonna last for about a minute. This is raising the apogee of our orbit so that we can drop tests off at a place where it can then properly begin to perform its own orbit raising maneuvers to get it to that point where it can perform its lunar flyby. Look at that beautiful image of the Earth behind us there. It's one of the planets Tess is going to look at in its lifetime. And as you can see there, we have had successful separation of the TESS spacecraft. And it's going on on its beautiful mission to look at thousands of planets outside of our solar system. And with that, that brings us to an end of our webcast as Falcon 9's, Falcon 9's job is done for today. So this was a pretty successful mission, right? We had a successful stage one ascent and landing. Stage two has properly deployed to test spacecraft into its intended orbit, and TESS is now on its way, and hopefully we'll hear soon about the health of the, the payload. 
I want to give a big thank you to the NASA Launch Services Program for their faith in us, to Goddard Space Flight Center, to MIT, and to the 45th Space Wing for their range support for today's mission. You can follow SpaceX on social media via our Twitter feed as well as our Instagram. You can also check us out on SpaceX.com. And if you want to learn more about the test mission, visit nasa.gov. Thank you all so much for joining today and we'll catch you at the next launch.